Hello, everybody. Um, I hope everyone is doing well today. Happy Tuesday. This is Mars Day. Okay, I'm going to just give everybody a few minutes to come in. And while I do that, I'm going to share this video to some other places. So if you guys want to tag your friends or whomever may be interested, you can go ahead and do that, please. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Hi, everybody. So as you guys see, I have a new background. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about this new background. Um, I like it, <laughs> but you guys can let me know how you feel about it, okay? Hey, hey, everybody. Hi. Hi, hi. Okay, so... Um, first, I have a few announcements. So I will be doing a Black Friday sale. I kind of decided to do that. Like I was thinking about it and then I decided to do it. So I'm going to do a Black Friday sale. And what that's going to consist of is 50% off all single hypnotherapy sessions. So that includes the first session that includes one hour sessions and any of the specialty sessions, such as um, inner child healing, um, uh, the energetic cord removal, um, and past life regression. So I will put a link here to open door hypnosis. Um, and actually, yeah, I'll post it a little bit later on so that I can give you guys the coupon code for that. Okay. So we're going to be doing that and that's going to, um, happen on black Friday. All right. So that will be happening. And then I'm also going to be given 30% off on select classes in the Mind Magic Institute. Um, and so you guys will get the coupon code for that as well. And so some of you guys have been asking me about, you know, what are my uh, hypnosis rituals exactly? What does that mean? And for many of you that have done the hypnosis rituals, you kind of know how it goes and what it entails. And, you know, I know a lot of you have been having some great results from those rituals. So I'm going to be doing more of those and I'm, I'm doing a juice cleanse right now. So I have to drink this right now. <laughs> it is time to drink it. I'm actually late doing it, but by the way, um, really good friends of mine, Prince wellness, they do, uh, fantastic juices. These juices are amazing. Um, so you definitely want to check them out. If you are a local, if you're in the LA area and you're looking to do a juice cleanse, it comes with instructions and everything. So highly, highly recommend it. Uh, if you go on my Instagram page, I did a whole reel about this and, um, you can go find them on Instagram, Prince Wellness. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm doing a partial five day cleanse. And it's pretty easy. It's really easy. Anyways, okay. So the, the hypnosis rituals are like a ritual, you know, it's, it's you know, I like candles, everything is, is charged up, it's blessed, it's has, you know, I have sometimes I'll have um, certain energy spirits that govern over govern over those rituals. Um, but the difference is. I'm doing hypnosis, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm not only helping you tap into the energy of the ritual, but you're also getting a full body experience, okay? So your cells, your nervous system is absorbing this energy and it is also shifting any old programs that you might be operating on. See, a lot of times we focus just on the mind, right? but we forget that the body has a subconscious mind as well, 
So we tend to only focus on our thoughts and shifting our thinking and our mindsets, but we forget that this has its own intelligence, okay? So I like to do hypnosis in my rituals to assist in helping both the subconscious mind up here and the subconscious mind in the body receive that energy so you can get faster results um, that are more long lasting. Okay. So that is why I do my hypnosis rituals. And I have, I was doing them privately in zoom, but people were having a hard time getting into them. So now they are done on the business page. Okay. So if you're signing up for any of my rituals, and I'm going to be doing a ton of rituals throughout the end of this year. So be sure that you, you know, stay tuned in and, and get in on them because they are going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and I don't only do these rituals for you guys. I'm doing it for myself too. So <laughs> I add myself in those rituals as well. And they have been very, very, um, uh, they've been very life-changing for me. And I've heard from some of you guys saying the same thing. So tomorrow, tomorrow, no, Yes, tomorrow we're doing the lack buster ritual. Okay. So um, I forgot who that was that messaged me earlier and said, would, would this ritual complement the uh, new set point ritual? And it absolutely will. So if you've been having trouble with accepting your new set point and you have done a new set point hypnosis with me one-on-one -on -one, or you've done a new set point hypnosis uh, ritual with me um, and you find and you're finding that it's tough for you to accept your new set point one you may want to lower that number a little bit okay two um you may want to definitely tap into this lack buster one because this is helping you remove the energy of lack, remove the energy of doubt. And a lot of times when we're having a hard time manifesting things, it is because we are still operating from a lack energy, all right? And not just our thoughts, but also the memory that our bodies hold from us not having enough or for from things not working out in the past, right? You've tried to launch a business or you've tried to you know, start a new relationship or you've tried to, you know, do a, a diet and, and shift your entire body and work out and stick to a workout regimen, right? But something comes in that reminds you of the failure from the last time, right? It reminds you how you didn't have this thing, you didn't have that thing, or this didn't work out. Um, and that is just your subconscious mind and your nervous system trying to keep you safe okay so lack gives us undesirable results but it is also an indication of things that we need to pay attention to okay so we can try to say all the affirmations in the world you know do all the mantras light all the candles in the world but if we are not doing the work to move that energy, shift that energy, not only out of the mind, but out of the cells, out of the nervous system, out of the body, then we're going to keep getting the same results over and over and over and over again. Okay. So, you know, I love ritualing because rituals are very similar to hypnosis. Okay. I'm not going to get into all of that right now, but I have videos talking about the parallels between ritualing and hypnosis and magic and hypnosis, okay? Because it's pretty much the same thing. You're focusing on an idea for an extended period of time and you're creating visuals, images to help represent the final outcome. And the more you focus on that, and the more you allow yourself to be fully um, submerged in the experience of that idea. So you're not just having the thought, but you have to create a whole situation, a whole experience that your physical body can feel as well, okay? So that's why I enjoy 
adding the hypnosis component to my rituals because you're able to feel that. And those of you who have ritualed with me before, you understand that I bring the whole body into it, okay? Um, so uh, let's talk about honoring our agreements, all right? And this came up because I... Come on, thing, what? This camera is supposed to be so hoity-toity, honey, and it's supposed to be so bomb, but really, thank you. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so I wanna talk about honoring agreements um, because sometimes when you're experiencing things not happening for you in a way that you want them to happen, right? Um, you're trying to manifest a certain amount of money or you're trying to manifest a thing or something and it's not happening. Um, I would recommend taking a look at where you have not honored your agreements to somebody else, okay? Have you agreed to take a class or a course and you agreed to make a monthly payment and now you're not living up to that. So now you find yourself in dire straits financially and you have to keep working, 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 okay? Have you agreed to pay your bills and now you're not paying your bills and now you find that instead of more money flowing in, things are slowing down, right? Have you agreed to be, to be loyal in a friendship or a relationship but you go on behind their back talking shit about them, right? So now you're finding that things in your life are not adding up. Things in your life are not aligning the way you want them to because you have not honored your agreement. Now, the biggest agreement of all is the agreement that we have with ourselves, okay? So if you have agreed to get up every morning at 6 a.m. so that you can have time, you got that extra hour, hour and a half, two hour pocket so that you can meditate, you can go work out, you can, you know, drink your green juice, right? <laughs> you can do whatever you need to journal, write, read for, for 15, 30 minutes. You know what I mean? You've made that agreement to yourself, but now you're not doing that, right? You're not living up to your agreement. So now you're experiencing things falling by the wayside. Other things that have nothing to do with that agreement are now falling by the wayside. And you're like, what the hell just happened? Why did that fall apart? Why did that happen? It is very important to honor our, agree honor our agreements. And if you're in a position where you cannot honor your agreements, then you need to communicate. You have to communicate. They always tell you, if you can't afford to pay a bill, pick up the phone and just let the person know, hey, you know what? Let the company know, you know what, listen. I can't afford this right now. What can we do? You would be amazed at how open and how accommodating people can be if you just tell the truth. If you just let people know, listen, I'm having a hard time right now. I don't know if I can honor this agreement. What can I do? People are willing to work with you. The universe is willing to work with you. And it's all about being honest. Really, it comes down. Honoring your agreement is about honesty, okay? Being honest with yourself and then being honest with everyone else that you've made that agreement with. Breaking your agreements is something that you can do, but you have to make sure that you can break your agreements, whether you are breaking an agreement in a lease or you're breaking an agreement in a partnership, or if you're trying to break a contractual agreement that you have made through the spirit realm, okay? You still have to honor the contract. You still have to find out, is this agreement, is this the right time for me to break my agreement? Can I break this agreement right now without the rest of my life falling apart? What moves, steps do I have to take in order to break this agreement, okay? Before you cut a cord, before you 
rewrite contracts, before you break certain agreements, you do need to find out first and foremost, is this an agreement that I can break? As above, so below. It is important that when you're manifesting, it's not just, you know, there's so much more to manifesting. And, I, you know, people are still just, just think positive and just, you know, <laughs> write it down a hundred times, five times, 55, all of that. That's great. That is an addition to the inner work that needs to be done, though. So many people miss the mark. And then I'll take it a step further. People say, well, you got to get, it's, it's all about the mindset. Yes, the mindset is very, very important. It is. However, your agreements are also important to take a look at. In the physical mundane world, as well as in the spiritual world, are you honoring them? And if you're not able to honor them anymore, are you able to truly separate from them? And is it the right time? And you have to physically, in your body, feel what it is you are wanting to manifest. Okay. Now, I'm going to be doing um, an emotional process class very soon because I think a lot of people, you know, try to take themselves from sad to happy. That's dumb. Can't do that. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> You got to go through processes. Um, and I know that there are people out there who can quickly get you from this point to that point, And that's great. I think that's amazing. I think that's beautiful. And I do use those techniques at times with my own clients and with myself. Right. However, it's a Band-Aid. It's a Band-Aid. Okay. Because if you don't take the time to find out, why do I keep coming back to this thought? Why do I keep feeling like this? Even though I keep doing the affirmations and I did that quick thing that they told me to do, but now this thing over here just happened and it triggered a different wound. And now I'm getting a different reaction from this, right? A different train of thought is coming through because you did not take care of that pro, You didn't do that process in a way in which you can take care of that thing, that feeling to where you are, you've minimized it and reduced it all the way down to zero. Okay. There is a process for everything. I know we all want quick fixes. We want it to happen fast, fast, fast like this. And it can happen fast, fast, fast like that if you need it to happen for a specific thing in that sp specific time frame. But understand that the shit gonna come back around because you ain't dealt with the real core of it yet. It's gonna come back around. This is why you have to keep doing things over and over and over and over and over and over again because you have not tapped into the root and dealt with it. And it's nothing wrong with having a consistent practice. It's nothing wrong with, with doing things in repetition because repetition helps. Please understand that repetition is very important. It is very important that we repeat processes over and over again, that we repeat routines, things that work for us. It's important that we continue doing that, right? Because the more evidence that you have of something working for you, the more you are available to continue doing those things, right? And the more you're telling the subconscious mind, hey, this works, this works. I got good results from this. I'm gonna keep doing it. But what happens when it doesn't work anymore? That's an indication that there's a deeper level that needs to be tapped into. That's an indication that it is time for you to do something else, okay? I'm about to drink this down fast, but I got a little kick to it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mercy. 
Hey, y'all. Hey, Virtue. Hi, Kurt. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Zakia. <laughs> hey, y'all. What's up? Hey, Mia. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Vincent. Okay. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to talk about too, real quick before I get off of here, because I'm setting up um the ritual for tomorrow. And I gotta paint <laughs> some pumpkins. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. So <laughs> I told you, and that ain't even all, all of it. Um, so I told you guys, I'm going to have a couple of surprises for you. So I have to paint some things and I have some other stuff that I got to paint and set up. So it's going to be amazing. Oh, good, Zakia. Good. Um, so the other thing that I want to talk about um, is that um, starting next year in January, I am going to be offering group hypnotherapy sessions, okay? Um, <clears throat> and the first group hypnosis, uh, hypnotherapy session that I'm going to be working on is codependency, okay? And this is to help you um, overcome unhealthy addictions. And people automatically <clears throat> equate codependency to relationships but you can have a codependency on all kinds of stuff because it's an addiction okay so we're going to be tapping into that energy and working through that process and that's going to be for six weeks and that's going to be um for 997 and you can break it up in three payments every two weeks okay to make it easier for you guys but um i want you to put that on your calendar so if you feel like you have um trouble with breaking through certain addictions, habits, okay? Um, you wanna definitely get yourself enrolled into this program, the six week program for codependency, okay? Freedom from codependency. Um, it, is, it, it is very, very important. It affects everything in your life, okay? It affects your money, it affects your relationships, it affects your, your body, your, 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 the way you feel about your body, what you put in your body, your relationship to food, okay? Um, and it also, I'm just going to say this, because some of us, some of y'all, are addicted to readings. You're addicted to readings. You go, you hop from reader to reader to reader to reader to reader, <laughs> trying to get a different <laughs> answer. And that's an addiction. You're addicted to YouTube tarot readings. I used to have an addiction to YouTube tarot readings, so I am not coming down on anybody. I'm just saying was was real. You got a, a codependent relationship with your cell phone. Okay. Why? Do you know why? Do you know why? If you don't know why, then you need to come into this a uh, six week program, okay? We're gonna be taking a deep, deep dive and we're going to be looking at those things, okay? So there's gonna be exercises that you're gonna to have to do. Um, there will be um, deep hypnosis. So if you're not into hypnosis, then do not sign up for this, okay? But, cause that's the modality that I use to assist my clients with, helping them break through challenges and reach their goals is through hypnosis, okay? It's very powerful. And that's the, that's the modality that I use. And we will be using it very heavily in this program to help you become free of codependency, okay? Um, so you're going to, I'll be posting that very soon. Um, you guys can start signing up for it now. We're gonna be starting in January, okay? Um, and so it is a private class that I'm going to, I'm going to have a private Facebook group for you guys to come in and to be able to share and talk about the things that you're going through with your, uh, group. Okay. And then we're also going to be meeting on zoom for that. Okay. And I'm going to start doing more hypnotherapy group, uh, group, Lord, hypnotherapy group coaching sessions. Okay. Um, so you're going to be this is a big savings, by the way, because a session with me, an hour session with me is 
Um, and so if you were to do six of those, that would put you at like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars And so now you're getting um, a $600 savings, okay? Um, from doing this group, from doing the group sessions. And I'm gonna start doing that because a lot of you have reached out and you said that you want to do sessions with me, but you're not able to um, and make the investment right now. And that's totally fine. So doing them um, in groups like this is very helpful um, and can help you save some money. All right. So if you have not signed up for, hey, Sabria, if you have not signed up for um, the ritual that's happening tomorrow, you have approximately 18 minutes <laughs> before the price goes up to $88, okay? Um, so, um, sorry, my windows are open. Everybody's dragging in the trash cans right now because the trash just picked up today. Um, so you have until 12 noon Pacific Standard Time to get that ritual for $44 because I'm getting ready to change the price, all right? And then the cutoff for signing up is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, all right? So if you're interested in joining in the, on this ritual, please make sure you get yourself in it by 3 p.m. because I will be um, adding in the names to the ritual. And after that, you won't be able to get in, okay? So I love you guys. Oh, and those for those of you who have, um, you won the spots, I'm getting ready to email you right now, okay? Everything that you need to prepare for the ritual. You have plenty of time, so it's fine, all right? All right, guys, so this was a quick, quick video. I just wanted to hop on and give you those announcements and talk a little bit about agreements and codependency and explain what the hypnosis rituals are, okay? Um, so some of you can have a better idea of what that means, because I do get messages saying, well, what is a hypnosis ritual? So I'm like, okay, well, let me just do a video so people can know what that is. And um, you too, honey. And I will um, also probably post this somewhere on the website as well. All right. Okay, y'all. I love you so much. I thank you for your time, your energy, and your ear. Have a fantastic day. Get a lot of work done today. It is Mars Day. It is uh, Tuesday, Mars Day. Time to get it done. Okay. Bye, y'all.